I'll pay you a million dollars to sleep with your wife. So a, so it gets them out of everything and it's a million dollars cash one night with your wife. It, it was no explicit, like we're going to do anything. It's one night with your wife. And, so, and the guy's good looking. Okay. <clears throat> it's Robert Redford, ugly right? ass bastard. Does that, that, uh, does that Is it Robert Redford? Wouldn't it bother you? Uh, let's start by uh, introducing everybody. What uh, what you're drinking tonight? Oh. Let's go around the horn. Let's go first. Uh, yeah, Henry, who's going Henry, first? you go first. Yeah. Well, tonight I'm having a beer because I I finished my keg, so I am back to my bottles again. So tonight I'm having a Lagunita IPA. All right. All right. I like the Not brand. Bad. I like the brand. You never know. <clears throat> Keep throwing the brands out there, people. <laughs> Spoken like a true entrepreneur. Yes. <laughs> wide net, guys. We're casting a wide net. Yeah, influencers. It's just a couple of influencers hanging out talking. That's right. Yeah. What are you That's talking it. about? <laughs> Wait, so you got you got to work <laughs> no, no, on that. You, you got your brand. Got a show. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah. Wrong side <laughs> of the can. Oh, Thank you. What are you What are you talking about? I I don't know. <laughs> We'll As you can see, I'm that. drinking a Diet Dr. Pepper. So, wait, wait, diet? Yeah, Diet Dr. Pepper. But what's up with diet? Because uh, do you want to drink the sugar, or, or do you want to fully <laughs> die of this cancer? I don't know. You chose choose either one. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like we can choose our yeah. I don't drink very much soda to begin with, so he's trying to watch his figure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised. I've never. I don't think I've ever seen you drink a diet soda. Have you ever seen me drink a soda? No. Same. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, Are last, you okay, Freddy? Last, Something happened. Last time we drank, I mean, I drank what? The the bubbly Seltzer. water. Bubbly yeah. water from, 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 from where? Trader Joe's. It was oh, Trader yes, Joe's. That's right. Uh, Trader, Trader yeah. Joe's blueberry and lemonade. Uh, it was on sale uh, on the end cap. It was very nice. I uh, wanted to give it a try. Uh, I gave it like, <laughs> I was like, uh... Aroma was good. Uh, taste was kind of bland. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty right. good review. Got to keep pretty it real. Got to keep it real. Yeah. Good <laughs> review. Good review. Ernesto, um, what are you having, man? I, I just finished my um, Hatfield and McCoy whiskey. Oh, this is the last of it right now. Finished it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hey, well, rough days, yeah. eh? Well, yes. Rough <laughs> morning. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry. I've got my. Patron Silver waiting the in the background. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I have to ask, is that really your man cave or just you just made it a man cave tonight? Or do just you just in... store all your booze in your garage? I, I don't know which is it. <laughs> yes to all? Oh, <laughs> hey. All of the above? No, 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 no. Just for tonight. Just for tonight. And and like you get like we were talking earlier, I can't get out from escaping from everybody here. <laughs> It's uh, everyone. So just you hauled it all. Space. So you hauled it all with you. I hoarded it all. Just, and just brought it all. With <laughs> like a mini a mini tailgating. <laughs> um, I gotta I, I gotta go. <laughs> I I appreciate <laughs> yeah. I appreciate people who plan ahead. That's I awesome. I try my best. That's I'm awesome. just trying to keep up with you guys. What are you drinking, Ken? Me, I uh, I'm kind of taking it in easy tonight. I'm having a red tea. Yeah, just chilling. What? <laughs> What kind of red tea? What's in it? From, from China? <laughs> from I don't know how to read it, <laughs> and I don't know how to say it. Oh. It is from China. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I love China. Sponsor us, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's I have... the only question. Uh, I don't yeah, know. speak for yourself, Ken. <laughs> uh, 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 <clears throat> yes. It's tough. So like I was talking to I was talking to uh, Kathleen about it and it was the fact that it's like oh man like we are of <laughs> you know that uh, bloodline right we're Chinese but we don't, we're not Chinese in the same like nationalistic factor in which you know like they want to rule the world we're like I don't know if we want you to rule the world <laughs> right it's like but we're still all Chinese it's really weird. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's kind of tough, right? You have to choose like 
you, you have to take the good with the bad. You, you have to recognize, first of all, I think recognizing that, yeah, we're Chinese, that's fine. But then we're Chinese in America versus Chinese in China, completely different. Um, but I don't know, this is, I, I would ask you guys this. So right now we have this many sponsors. <laughs> if China were to call, right? If, uh, so, so the, the, what's his name? <laughs> Miss, Mr. Mr. Xi, President calls Xi you. calls. Ken, hello, Ken, sir. No, no, he would actually say, Why, Samsung? No, no, he can't speak. He doesn't speak Cantonese. What are you doing? Oh. They don't speak. The, oh, oh that's they bad. do Mandarin. They do yeah. Mandarin. I can't do Mandarin. Uh, that's okay. Freddie, can you pull up Mandarin? No, my, my point being is he's calling you on the phone. He goes, yeah. Yeah, uh, hey, um, I have a deal for you. Uh, I'd like to sponsor your, your podcast. Yes. What, what's, your, what's your price, Ken? <laughs> Ooh. I play U.S. dollars? He's actually thinking about it. He, he's, he's actually thinking about it. <laughs> well, we don't have it, to talk. We don't. You don't have to answer that. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> um, I'm gonna have this to sleep on that. No, no, no. So, what happened if Trump calls to say we'll sponsor you? I think it would hang up right away. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, that was a quick response. Exactly. Wow. What? Yes. Wow. You, you guys I, didn't even take like two seconds to think about it. Oh man. Did you but see, isn't like, he broke? He's broke though, right? It's not well, like he, he has actual dollars. He has a campaign, right? And a lot of money <laughs> in the campaign. What's, what are they called? Kick, no, it's a Kickstarter. Someone's already Kickstarter for him. You know, well, when you're down me, and out, me. that's what people do. What? Go fund me. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> go, okay, go okay here's me. another one. Go fund me. A great organization. GoFundMe.com. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Trump calls you and says, hey, I'll pay you a thousand dollars every month if I put my logo on your house. Would you do it? Is this, no, no. Is this, is this Dude, is some like... people do it for free. <laughs> I know. I wouldn't no, do no. it for free. No, I would, no, find... no, no, no. He's talking about other people that put the signs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would just go find right. somebody who would do it for free and then just say, "Hey, I'm going to pay you like fifty bucks to put that the sign there, right?" See? And then I just pocket the nine fifty. There Can it go. be at a residence in a um, red state? <laughs> so, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it it pays off if, it, if I move less. residence, quote unquote, move residence to, I don't know, let's, let's pick a good one, uh, Florida, because they don't have state income tax, right? I, I live in Florida. And then, so yeah, put a sign there. <laughs> tax free. <laughs> Hey, there's there's a person down the street. He he actually put up a uh, Trump flag. So <clears throat> it is it's just around your, around the corner, man. You never know. True. You ever met the person, Henry? No, but I, I know that a lot of people give it give the house double double stare yeah, every single yeah. time they walk by. Well, I mean, it's all right, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, he's still exactly. I mean, it, it's crazy. <laughs> it's just crazy. <laughs> You're like, go for it, I guess, bro. <laughs> Now I'm worried. Is... Next time I visit you, visit you I got to be careful. I got to be careful. <laughs> Can I park in your garage? Yeah. So this is almost like an indecent proposal, right? Like you know. So how much will you? How, what's your price? Yeah. Ooh. Now we're oh, talking. Yeah, yeah. Now, now Actually, Henry's got the right. Now Henry has the right idea. When you said indecent proposal, that's the numbers we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> this thousand dollar stuff. I don't know, man. It's See, I just I just put the tip of the knife on your skin, and Henry's like, "Let's push a little bit. Let's <laughs> see what, when I... it takes." At what dollar amount did it become an indecent proposal? <laughs> Above a thousand isn't. Well, no, no, no. He's because he said indecent proposal, oh. but in that movie, it was a million dollars to sleep dollars. with the guy's wife. But just for Got one it. night. So it's a million. Yeah. So that so at least starts at a million, right? That's what I'm saying. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. See that a million is pretty. Now, now we're now we're talking a little more like, woo. That's a little tough one because well, thousand I dollars. Don't... Eh. I, I don't know when work. the I don't know when the movie was out, but plus inflation, I think it's more than a million now. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to Google that. What year did it come out in? That's what that's what Google's all about. Two, all right, I think that's my job, right? Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna guess. Uh, guess guess. 2001. No, I think early. 90s. Than that. I think it's the 90s. 90s. Ooh. 1993. Oh man, I'm way Ooh. off. Mm -hmm. My memory oh. is, and and I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, I've never seen this movie, guys. 
Oh, uh, okay. I apologize. Okay, so so it's it was famous <clears throat> at the time because it talked about like this guy and his wife who were down and out in Vegas or Atlantic City or something. Um, they lost all their money, and then this guy comes up and goes, "I'll pay you a million dollars to sleep with your wife." So a so it gets them out of everything, and it's a million dollars mm-hmm. cash, one night with your wife. It, it was no explicit like we're gonna do anything. It's one night with your wife. And, so, and the guy's good looking, okay? <clears throat> it's Robert Redford, right? Hey, does that, that, does that is it Robert Redford? Wouldn't it bother you? Who, who's, it, the, it bother- who's the lead? Who's the lead? Who's the lead? Robert Redford? All right, so side? Robert Redford was the and guy Demi Moore. offering Demi the million Moore dollars. and Woody Harrelson. Yep. Yeah, Woody Harrelson. Yes. See, All I right, can so remember the movie. I can't remember the year. <laughs> a, million, a million dollars in 93 is worth uh, 1.8 in today's dollars, Shit, 2021. That's two million. <laughs> so... Mm-hmm. 1.8 million dollars yes 1.8 so now yes that's, you... still, that's still a hard pa- that's well, a hard pass here's the other thing <laughs> has sex gotten kinkier since 93 today no 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 no, no. Did this, uh, what it matters you gotta Wait, look if, you, how, if we're talking about the I'm, podcast not the wife thing <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no 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 look if somebody <laughs> asks you that question things go through your head you're you're evaluating oh, okay. a proposal okay. you're okay. like what kind of sex are you gonna have? Are you on Viagra? I'm, he's going down his list. Yeah, this is my list. <laughs> I'm <here>. like, <laughs> is it just the, you know, one shot and you're done, go home, or are you gonna like, I don't know, take Viagra and go all night? I I, I think it the matters. Whole thing. No, 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 no. So I think that I think that you have to think of it a little differently. So. He says, I, I want to spend one night with your wife. It has no implications. So it's so the point being though is because Robert Redford is rich, 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 he can whine and dine as soon as it starts because he has way more money than that million. He if he can throw away a million for one night, that means he has way more than that. So he knows that if I you know, and, and I think that's where the premise is, it's like can't you know, after everything happens. It's like, well, you know, this person it still is connected now, <laughs> so it's an interesting mm. thought. Still, so, so if that's the case, even after the million, would you still reach out and be like, "Hey, I, I need a new Bentley. Do you mind hooking me up?" <laughs> Man, you guys well, no. got over that one night so quickly. <laughs> Didn't even give it a second thought. <laughs> First, he's like, yeah. "No, but what if it happened? Let's go. Let's just say it happened." Let's say. <laughs> And I would say this: if the guy was but ugly, I would say two mil. Because look, think about it from your wife's perspective. You want to make it as easy for her as possible, right? No, 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 no. no. This is actually very simple, guys. I would trust my wife. <laughs> yeah, it's not your choice. <laughs> That's so easy. I, I don't know why he's all like. Your... I was like, <laughs> I was like, yes, and then man, you all a... walked into the trap. <laughs> you all just walked straight into the trap. I was like, I was like, you, is not even your choice. Is yeah. not, is not you. You have no choice in the fact. If she decides she wants to do it, it's up to her. Is you, you can only say, I don't want you to do anything, or you know, I prefer you don't. But you do not control that person. That person has their choice. So guess what? You can do nothing. The only things you can do is trust, like Henry. Like I said, I, 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 I truly believe. <laughs> well, I okay. Let's just say my wife says yes. And he's butt ugly. I still push it to two mil, because I'm looking up for my wife, man. <laughs> Way to be a team player. That's right. Right, I'll high five her right before. Like, hey, I did my part. <laughs> I got you, you two. I got you two in the back. <laughs> you just got. <laughs> you just gotta finish the mission. <laughs> yeah, I'm safe because this is all make believe. It's a movie. Yes. I say whatever all, the hell I want. It's all I'm, a movie. I'm even safer because my wife's not going to listen to this conversation. <laughs> yeah, there's that. <laughs> hey, I am editing. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be bleep, bleep, yeah. bleep. Right? Yeah. Yep. I like that. I like that a lot. <clears throat> Man. Uh, what That's... were the topics that you were wanting to talk about tonight, Ken? I know you wrote something down. 
we we was there actually something i i actually did write something down from last See? time but Ooh. i don't know when i look back now i think it's gonna be boring uh-oh <laughs> well now now i want to know yeah now, <laughs> now, now, now we can now vote we, <clears throat> yeah yes. all right all right i'm just gonna throw it out there just to get a reaction okay and it sounds also way too serious damn it I should have like had a beer or something before I wrote this down. <laughs> what? All right. We can turn it not serious. <laughs> I'm sure all... you guys will. <laughs> it won't be hard. All right. So this is really about uh, a new norm, right? That uh, I think kind of snuck up on us. Um, it's like a boiling the frog scenario, which is lines. Um, and lines that derive from... Um, either waiting to go into a restaurant or lines to wait for your PS5 or even online lines to buy a PS5. Henry knows this. He went through it. That norm that everybody seems to be complaining about but also are okay with. I think if you go back and rewind in time, that wasn't always the case. What happened? Wait, wait, wait. That... <laughs> wait sorry lines okay how about even vaccine how about i just throw that in there too but <laughs> people stand in line for vaccines they're fine people stand in well, lines I... to vote they bitch about it but they still do it i i mean you, i mean if you if you look at if you look at um you just just look at every black friday right every christmas right a- any launch of any console right or even the iphone for that matter right before the pandemic everybody was making line Mm -hmm. and you're right they even complained about it right there was there was memes made out of it i mean when uh samsung launched one of their new phones right they made fun of the forehead of the dude on in the line for the iphone (laughs) yeah the haircut (laughs) so i think uh it's in our nature to you know make lines do you do you What's, what's the, what's the alternative, Ken? My take it is this: mass chaos or, or orderly yeah. queue. <laughs> no, there's gotta be no. a happy medium. There's gotta be something what's, in the middle. What's what's another what's another option, please? If you do, you have another option for me. I actually have a stupid idea for some of this, but I don't uh, think it's a, I don't think any idea is stupid. Just what's the sure. idea? Sure. Uh, well, before we get to the stupid idea, I think oh. one thing that i think has made it okay to stand in lines everywhere you go right you can you can go get in line for dinner and afterwards go get in line for boba you're okay with it because of your phone you have something oh. to occupy your time where you're in line so it doesn't feel like you're in line Ooh. so you're saying it's okay now it's more accepting now i think people are more tolerant if you look at pictures when, of people standing in line to vote, what were they doing? They were doing this, right? Looking at their phone. <clears throat> would Would you say that's the same when people are in transportation? Like subway, bus, waiting for the train? Well, yeah. I mean, they, uh, they have their devices with them now. Uh, I used to take BART every day, right? Going to the city. Mm-hmm. Everybody's got headphones on their phone. It's all good. I have a tangent question. Sorry, it's burning in my in my thing. <laughs> Henry, let it you out. Waited, let it out. You waited in the line. Did you get a PS5 then? Is that what no. you were trying to do? <laughs> no. Henry oh. didn't. I Ken, got did lucky. you? Well, you know, I, Ken already has I one. Stood, Ken. I stood in the other line. <laughs> wait, wait. So, 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 Ken. So, There's two lines? So, Ken, you actually... Ken, Ken did get a PS5. Did, yes. you, did you stand in line for it? <laughs> did what? Oh, wait. You stood in line for you stood in line for your PS. Technically, okay. I had I had to uh, buy. I bought it on Costco.com. Okay. Uh, Henry went into the Best Buy.com line. Okay. Oh, virtually. Yeah. Yes. So I think the advantage I had were uh, one, I stumbled onto it at the right time, but the other thing is it's, it's more exclusive. You have to have a Costco membership in order for you to buy it <laughs> on Costco.com. I do believe that. Yep, for sure. But so, here is so the any, here's the part. Can, can yeah, yeah. You you smaller, do need a, a membership volume, card right? uh, in order to get on it. So the problem was, um, and 
don't let my boss know this, but this was at like 7.30 in the morning. And from the time when I first found it to when I actually was able to buy it, it literally took an hour. And we all understand why, right? The site is bogged down. Uh, going through the checkout process, once you have it in cart, it takes a lot of retries, a lot of refreshers before you can complete that. And so, like I had an 8.30 meeting. <laughs> I was so not prepared going into that because you know what? I had to get this thing. Going to do the checkout. But literally, like that would have been my one hour standing in line. Uh, metaphorically, I mean, that, that's literally what happened. I was willing to wait and keep clicking and refreshing until it got through. Have, has anyone here ever waited in line overnight for a like console release or whatever? No, not no. overnight. So, so like my, my, my friend would do it all the time and, and he tried to talk me into to doing it with him one time. I think it was like the Wii. No, I mean, it's a good thought process. You buy a few of them, you can sell it for quite a bit, right? Like we all knew at the time you could do that even then, right? <clears throat> Cause you could sell on Craigslist or whatever. And, um, just like the scalpers are doing now, but, uh, not as sophisticated, but you had to wait in line. I mean, like. You waited as soon as you could, just like watching a movie. You sit there and like people would have a tent and then um, and then you would wait and wait and wait. So that's why I was wondering, like, has anyone ever done that? Because that is a that is that is waiting. That is really waiting in line. That's professionally so, no, waiting in line. So so here's a here's more of a, uh, a question that I'm asking. I'm thinking through is, are you guys willing to wait for a nap? Wait in line now. Not necessarily for PS5. It could be for anything. Are you guys willing to wait in line now? For so what? Na now, now virtually versus physically. no, 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 physically. No, that that for me, no, because now I think for for us, um, waiting has been removed, right? I mean, if you just kind of, I mean, just think about like the whole Amazon thing, or even today, like I was talking with my wife about. She wanted to sign up for um, Shipped, Shipped.com, mm -hmm. right? Um, sponsor here. The link is right here. Click on it right here <laughs> if you want 10% off your if offer If you code. want to ship it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, but it, it's one of those um, grocery delivery services, right? Mm -hmm. And and she's like, we, you know, because the numbers are so high with, with um, the, the, the virus and, and whatnot, we want to reduce the risk, whatever. Um, so she's like, we could just have everything shipped here. And I was like, sure. I mean, let, let's do it. Now we don't have to wait in line per se, right? We just, this is what we want. This is what we want. This is what we want. Pay for it. And it arrives when it arrives, right? Um, I think it'll be a hard transition going from that like paradigm to going back to the way it was, right? Um, so, I, I, so I think my gut instinct says something's, something has to change. That's just my thought. Just, would, I, would you, I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. But you, you're saying would you wait in line? So he wouldn't. Ken, Ken would you wait in line for? Well, Ken waits in line for Boba. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So for me, for me, if 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 I knew there was going to be a line, then I would say no. But if there's a chance that there's going to be a line, but I really want that thing, Boba. <laughs> the boba is really boba. good. The boba is really good. If um, if it, if it's a good place and there's a long line, maybe. Yeah, but I, if I, it's an okay place and there's a line, you're like, I'm exactly. gonna keep walking. <laughs> so here, here's an example. Um, uh, East Ocean, right? Ooh. Chinese restaurant. Berkeley. Over in Alameda. Oh, not not the other East Ocean. No, no. see, the you local know. one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, off and of so, what what street? <laughs> oh, uh, off of Webster. Uh, there's a parking lot in the back. Park yeah. there. Yeah, Chinese um, people. Woo -hoo. And a ten percent coupon 10%, right here. <laughs> Beat me by two seconds, Henry. Two seconds. This is just, terrible. This is so terrible. Code. Fishing way too much. This is terrible. <laughs> Fishing way too hard. We're thirsty. We're not Sorry, desperate go, go, go. at all. Okay, we no, don't. No. We don't need this. No. 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 Nope. Ten percent right here. Go ahead. <laughs> but uh, I ordered uh, dim sum um, online. It's new for them, right? Mm 
Ooh. Uh, new for them for uh, with, with the pandemic and everything. And so they're still new to the process. So I ordered dim sum the night before Mother's Day. And, you know, this was when we haven't had dim sum for like months. And I was like, hey, let's just order it um, and, and, and get it back and enjoy it at home. And so I scheduled for the pickup, you know, 1130, all that. And when I got there at 1120, uh, there was a line of people. And I was like, oh, I can't back off, right? It's Mother's Day. Uh, so we'll sit here in the parking lot and, and wait. We'll do a check-in to tell them we're here, but then we'll still sit in the car and wait. From that perspective, like you're kind of screwed. You're committed because I bought a lot of dim sum. <laughs> it's like $120, okay? I'm going to get my dim sum. But they were behind. They were struggling to prioritize the orders, like who gets to go first, because they, I think they went with all of the online ordering options. So I'm like, how do you manage a queue? That could be a, an idea, Henry. A general queue order management system for all the different services that are available for people. I'm on it. I'm making an OMS right now. Yeah, do it. <laughs> I know people who know how to build OMSs. Yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing, right? Um, I was actually irritated and really annoyed, but it took a good 45 minutes wait after that for me to get my order. But for the 45 minutes, I was watching YouTube, listening to podcasts that made it easier to swallow. Uh, and, and at the end of it, I got what I really wanted despite the wait. So when I went home, I complained about it a little bit, but like, honestly, I forgot about it because it was, it didn't hurt as much as I thought it, it, it did at, in the moment. So here, let me change that up a little bit. Okay. Let me, let me ask it different and change that up a little bit in the following sense. You're at Disneyland. Are you wait, willing to wait in the line for Space Mountain or for any line for, for, for that sake? Yes because I already paid to go into freaking Disneyland. So like $200, right? It's like two, two bills, two bills for an adult thing for one day. Uh, something like that, $200. So, I, oh. so so it's pretty expensive. So yes, I will. Will I pay for fast pass is probably like the uh, next question. I don't know. I, would... I, I have not bought a fast pass before, oh. but when we did go to Disneyland last, what we did was we had a lot of friends. And so what we did was we s scattered everyone to go grab the ticket for the line or whatever. Cause you can like pre get the ticket down the, the clock a little bit, but get yourself like a fast pass, but it's like a short period of time. But if you have enough period enough people, <clears throat> you spread everyone across and you can get like multiple spots and then just feed the beast that way right like because now you have a, a oh, okay we'll go to this one at this time this one at this time so even if you are waiting just a little bit you've already kind of have a schedule thing afterwards it's just kind of like you gotta you know work hard at it in the beginning kind of a little pre-planning and then waiting line is waiting in line but at least you know what's going on <laughs> that's how i feel ken or uh so, so no, here's the thing, right? Oh, I mean, last time I went to Disneyland was 25 years ago. Whoa. So, so I, so I know Whoa, how a fast old are you too? Wait, wait, wait. Me do like the math. Seven. I was, I was young. Okay, I mean, I was, I was a young. I was only about this tall. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe time. you, Henry. I believe you. Do you remember waiting in lines back then? Yes. Was it excruciating? <clears throat> Because you know, we, we didn't have smartphones. <laughs> yeah, no, you have to do things to keep yourself occupied, right? I mean, I think it helped out when they're like, when you're at this point, you're only half an hour away, right? Those things helped out, so. Mm. See, here, here's the thing, right? When you go to Disneyland with a young group of kids, mm. right? Anything, anything over 30 minutes might as well be all day, mm -hmm. right? Like, I don't know that a two-minute ride is worth 30 minutes of standing in line with a three-year-old saying, I want to get on. Right. Like yeah. I, I, I don't, I, I don't know. And for mm -hmm. that reason, and that reason alone, we got the annual passes, mm -hmm. which 
were expensive, but mm-hmm. at least we got to go, you know, in the middle of the week, right? Oh, or, yeah. or it's much better. Or, much yeah, better, huh? we yeah we would do like a a Thursday evening, right? When yeah. like nobody was there, and we could do the rides over and over and over. Um, but yeah, we wouldn't we we would avoid weekends, um, just because those lines were over an hour, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and the kids would just drive us crazy. Man, Did how you... many annual passes now? I have no idea. We we were we used to have the Southern California, which was like the base, like it was the cheapest thing. Right. Um, but um, man, that was like at least four years ago. I want to say we had it, and then we just stopped. We were just like, hey, it, just, it wasn't worth and it I, anymore. I heard that that's um, the the, so, the SoCal Pass is bad because they have too many blackout dates now. Mm. So it, it they all must the have changed it. I really think it really all depends how you look at it because remember we we live in Northern California. If you get a SoCal pass, like when I lived in Southern California, getting those passes was fine because it's meant for you because it's close mm-hmm. by. So again, like uh, um, like you were saying, it was like I could go for an hour or two because I know I could just come back another day. It's fine. Mm-hmm. There's too many lines. Right. I just go to the next ride. I just go to this ride later. It's cool, uh, you know, but. Mm-hmm. But I think also, I mean, Disneyland never changes. So that's the kind of weird, that's, that's the, the thing I was going to ask. Does it ever get too, like, repetitive because you've been back too many times for your for your family or your kids or, your, you know? Yeah, I, I would venture to say yes to a certain extent because, again, they only liked, like, one or two rides. Like, I, 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 I don't, I think maybe with my oldest, I got on Space Mountain once. Um and Thunder Mountain once, right? Um, it, but but that's about it, right? The the other two were way too young for anything above that, right? Or that yeah, that was too much, right? So, I think what made it okay for me was uh, when you buy through Costco, travel, you get a package. With, they would throw in uh, perks uh, such as you get to visit the park an hour early before the normal opening times. And damn, in that one hour, you can hit all the major rides and be done with most of the rides you want to go on anyway. Mm-hmm. And then the rest of the time, even if there is a line for a good ride, it makes it okay. Is right? it because you've already done it? Yeah, you've already done it. And you, you're like, it's fine. It's now you, time. now you can. You did the, you did the. I, I checked it off the list. Rush through, yeah. and then now you can just kind of chill and enjoy it. <laughs> but the best time I've had was it only happened once which was when uh, one of the kids that we went with had a cast on her arm. And they're like, oh yeah, hey, you're injured. You shouldn't stand in line too long. Go right through the exit, walk right up there. And so it was her and seven of us that followed her. (laughs) And the first ride, like it was Indiana Jones. I was like, I feel kind of bad because She's the only one that's hurt. And she's not really all that hurt. <laughs> and we'll literally like take up two cars, right, for the Indiana Jones ride. And we're like, is this okay? Oh yeah, it's fine. <laughs> They're okay with it. I'm like, okay. And and did you did you have to tell them? Did, did you did you have to say, hey, w- w- one of our party members is, is injured? Can you let yeah, us on by? You flash the cast. That's why I'm like, I think it would probably be cheaper than buying, you know, the fast pass or whatever. Just buy a cast. Just just rent a wheelchair. Okay? Rent a wheelchair. I think it's fifty dollars <laughs> to rent a wheelchair. You know, get one of those fake casts. You know, put it around your leg, right? Yeah. yeah. That's all you really need. The 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 weekday thing is such a big difference. Um, yeah. Going on a weekday versus a weekend, and then. Uh, again, because I live down there, you oh you you when you go to some of these theme parks and it'd be off season because it's not high season, right? It's not summertime, but it's springtime. It's nice, but people kids are still in school, so you <laughs> get the whole park to yourself, run around. <laughs> Magic Mountain was like that. Um, Disneyland, you know, all of the parks, whatever you want Dude, down there. You're letting all the secrets out, man. Maybe letting all the secrets out. Let them go. Hey. It's good. I mean, like, it, it, people should try, try to take advantage of it. Is how I think of it because I don't think people. Uh, it's hard and it is tough because you know most of our off time or our time 
that we're able to spend away from work is weekends. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the only thing you can do, right? right? So, <laughs> right. I know you're all pinned in, so it's it sucks. <laughs> it's it's okay. You know, Disneyland's not open right now, so no secrets out. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you have to watch. You just have to watch the documentaries. <laughs> Live through. Just wait till. <laughs> Which I've been going through like crazy with Disney Plus. I I love all those like behind the scene documentaries. Did you watch the uh, Imagineering ones? Those are like the the ones mm-hmm. about the Imagineers. Those are pretty interesting. Yeah. Like, the people who come up with all the little things and all the little tiny details throughout the whole entire park is how they solved for uh the the japanese park right with uh the the ocean was it below uh sea level or something so they had to 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 figure certain things out because of the different storms or something like that right they had a flood i can't remember that one henry might know he's (laughs) his yamaha built that (laughs) 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 i was surprised to see you coming back oh yeah yamaha (laughs) Built that. Built that. <laughs> no. <laughs> you see, and so this is what I get, you know? What do you I think know, I bring sorry. back up? <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with you guys? <laughs> but I'm this, sure Yamaha the, can. They they can do all sorts of things if they put their mind to it. I, I like Yamaha. Yeah. Please Thanks. sponsor us right here. Coupon right here. Ten percent off. Ten percent coupon. Uh uh, no, but the uh, here's my question about Disneyland. This is something that I realize now because my kids are all older now. Um, which is, you know, I asked them, how much of Disneyland do you remember? Because we took you guys there a lot. They're like, well, we'll remember it when we look at the pictures. And there may be one or two moments that they remember. But mind you... When they were young, up until they they were like 13, 14, 15, we'd go every summer, sometimes twice a summer, and they only remember it if it happens to flash onto our TV from Google Photos, a screensaver on the TV. They're like, oh, hey, yeah, oh, I don't remember that. Like, Damn it, that's money right there, down the drain. Do so, you think, <laughs> do I have to money down the drain? My, that's, my ROI is terrible. <laughs> it is. <laughs> It's all negative. And my son's 21. <laughs> this is a poor investment, guys. My, my memory ROI for my kids. Tell them to pay back uh, now. It's payback time. Okay, okay. So do you think it's because you went so much that it is blurred together so they can't remember which one is which? No, I think it's just uh, <clears throat> the ages of the kids. Um they will get more out of traveling when they're in their uh, mid-teens. Early teens, if it is someplace they want to be, sure, they'll remember that. But anything prior to like 10, 11, they're not going to, they're not going to remember much. It's all for you, mom and dad, not for the kids. So, so if you think of it that way, and you were to now kind of redo some of these vacations and now you are going to want to what choose what you and your wife want to do rather than what is best for the kids oh yeah completely (laughs) (laughs) and i would do this hey henry here's another stupid idea this is for young families (laughs) right that may not be able to afford those crazy prices disneyland charges you we can set up a service where you take all my photos I took of my, you know, my kids and stuff at Disneyland, and we just Photoshop other people's kids in. <laughs> Remember when we were like, when you were five, I took you, you rode on that ride right there. See? You, you have to just be careful because of the dated clothes. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> wrong century. <laughs> uh, I mean, wrong decade. Uh. No, no. All you have to take a picture of the background of the castle with nobody in it, and you just Photoshop the person into it. That's right. See? Yeah, it's 2021, you know, Freddy. We can do it. We have the technology. Right. And also, yeah. it's called virtual backgrounds, people. <laughs> so, hey, can, hey, can you stand here? Can you just take a picture with this holding your hand like this? And you just Photoshop, <laughs> Photoshop them right onto the, the, the Disneyland background. I'll tell you guys what. I'll tell my kids we'll make one more trip to Disneyland. And I'll just buy all the clothes for everybody. It'll be all green. Head to toe, it'll be completely green. We'll walk around all day taking pictures. It'll be fine. Oh, man. 
So, so did I mean okay? Um, thinking about when you were a kid, then so you know, like uh, comparing to your son and how when you were tw- if you were twenty one, do you well even at this age, do you remember vacations or anything when you were young, like going to Disneyland when you were a kid? Because Disneyland, you know, you're pretty old, but Disneyland <coughs> was older than you. <laughs> So, Damn, he's just tossing shade. <laughs> no, that there was that that whole question is so loaded, Freddie. Drink, drink your diet soda. Take another sip. Um, no, 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 no. So he's it's like this, right? It's like so. It's, that's a cue for Ernesto for you to take your oldest one, who's taller than you, who can beat you down to to take mm-hmm. him on trips. Right? Yes, and one. So that's exactly what I was thinking, right? Because like we try every year to try to take a vacation i think the last uh, one that we took was um we went to the nickelodeon hotel um in the 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 dominican republic and that one the kids t- and that was like two years ago and they talk about it all the time right just the fact that they went to spongebob's like little hut under the water and they got to see the ninja turtles and yada 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 right it wasn't the best vacation for my wife and I, right? Because we were kind of like had to haul them out to the beach and then uh, out to the to, to the pool. But they remember it, right? They remember it. Um, but that's about it, right? I don't think they remember um, Disneyland much, right? Um, I don't think they remember. We went to Hawaii a couple of times. I don't think they remember that either. Um, but maybe I, I love the idea of like anything after teenage years, right, might be worth a little bit more. I think. Sure, we'll give it a try. I'll let you guys know yeah. on the next podcast. <laughs> and if you guys also wear all green, I'm sure we can pay you for those pictures. <laughs> Still working it. Still working it. Yeah, yeah. but Freddie, for your question, like I went to Disneyland once when I was young. And that was the one trip that my family ever took. That was the one vacation ever. Now, just to remind everybody, I wasn't born here in the States. I flew to America from China, right, when I was eight years old. So I have the typical Asian parents. They just worked all the time. Worked all the time. We don't have money or to save money. And we begged them to go to Disneyland, right? You hear lots of great stuff about it. And... And so uh, I think this was when I was in fourth grade. It was around the time, third or fourth grade. Um, he was like, hey, let's, let's take a trip. And we all hopped into a van when we drove down to a lot uh, of LA. Too. I bet you it was like more than one family. <laughs> it was, yeah, mine and my uncle's family. No, I'm, I'm um, just, this is typical. Yeah. <laughs> You have a great understanding of Asian I, I got you. I get you. I'm saying yeah. it's a, it's a pack And what, did, what did we bring with us on our trip? Your own rice cooker, probably. Bingo. <laughs> Done. And maybe like Spam, maybe? Uh, maybe or a Chinese sausage. Yet. Or Chinese yeah, sausage. It's but the, yeah. uh, the, the Chinese Because then you don't have to cook, right? right? You don't have to cook. I get yeah, it. I get it. Yeah. I'll but, tell you, I, I... <laughs> but that was like the worst Disneyland trip I've ever taken because my dad did not trust anything any of the rides he says they're not safe you just got the tiny metal bar that goes over you that's not gonna hold you in you can fall right out son you're too skinny you need to eat more yeah so i went on only one ride (laughs) the only ride i went on all the other roller coasters nothing i could not get on those can we guess which guess? yeah go ahead i I would it can't be teacup because he's gonna be like you get tossed out you're spinning too fast. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking the jungle ride. It's a small ride. world. I'm thinking the jungle ride. <laughs> I say it's a small world because that, that's how they get the song stuck in your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small world. It after. was that Here one ride. I don't know the it name is. of it, but it's uh, right next to Star Tours. It's the rockets that just spin around. <laughs> Right, you go up and down. That that goes too high, though. <laughs> That's unsafe. You could fall off. <laughs> I guess it, it, the speed was just it's right. 
But yeah, I I didn't go on any of the roller coasters. That was that was so oh, depressing. Oh man, I'm so yeah. sorry. <laughs> My heart yeah. breaks. I just I'm crying for you inside right now. That's that sucks. That yeah, sucks. it did suck. <clears throat> so when I took my kids for the first time and they were super young, I'm like, let's go Space Mountain. No, Dad, it looks scary. Let's do it. <laughs> Get your ass on there. And you're going to like it, too. Yeah. It's Dude, not about uh, you. It's about me. <laughs> have you have you then now like gone to I've, like I don't know, Great America? Do you like going to Great America? Cause, or is it Great America still? Whatever I the think name it is. is still the one in Santa America, Clara, right? Somebody else like, owns it now. It used to be Top Gun, but now it can't be Top Gun because of licensing and all that stuff. You know, all the See, Great America is like a like a teenager's <laughs> hangout now. Yeah, that's where I used yeah. to. Go. I used to go as a teenager. So, yeah. Henry, do you not have you not gone to Disneyland? I mean, you got to Disneyland fifteen years, twenty, sorry, twenty. Oh no! Well, ago. I mean, when I was in when I, lived, I mean, I grew up in SoCal, so I go to Disneyland every year. No. Oh. Or at least twice a year because I was part of school for band or whatever it is. So we would go there every year. Um, but ever since then, we, we you know, coming up to Bay Area, I mean, what's Great America? We always talk about Magic Mountain's better. So we always go to Magic Mountain. Hmm. Magic is. Mountain is better. I, 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 will, I will give you that. I, that's very easy to concede. It's only because it's close enough to get to <laughs> for a teenager or <laughs> like, a, you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, I have to ask you about this, Henry, and I want you to bring this up because uh, when we're working <laughs> in, in, at Cafe Press, you bring this up a lot, and it has to do with this whole SoCal, NorCal thing, and there's a rating system as well. Like, you're talking shit about Great America in, in a similar way, uh, comparing it to, uh, to the, the, the park sound there. There's also a different scale for, uh, for the ladies. And I was all Wait. innocent until I heard about that scale and the differences that you use. Oh, oh, I see. So I see. Pompous. I see what you're saying. Are you saying? <laughs> are you trying to say? I'm gonna be very blunt. The ladies down there are better looking than the ones up here. Is Apparently, that what you're we have to a ask? different scale, Freddie. Oh. And, and and Henry's not shy about distinguishing what scale he's. So doing. is it like that? Is that what you're trying to ask, or are you trying to like was one? What's well, the difference in look? <laughs> as um as, as Ken was you know trying to ping me on this is that you know the, it's very simple right it, this is very simple the way I think about it is this the warmer it is the lesser they wear and I'm sorry I will stare more okay and in Southern California it's a lot hotter down there yep. than up here in the Bay Area I I so it was so I went to school at San Diego State it was so hot. <laughs> And also the ladies, by the way, Ken, if you like those like if you if they would suntan just right in the middle of the quad, just in the bikini, just like to put their bag down and then just suntan. So so I, I would that's why when when uh, Henry said that, I was like, yeah, I understand what you say. Because <laughs> I lived so, down there for like for a while. It's, it is. So that's why in, in, you know, every, when I grew up in Tokyo, I was there a lot. And, you know, and, and after I moved up to here <laughs> and I'm like, I don't I realized I don't stare anymore as much. It's too cold like, to stare. <laughs> hey, you know, I still remember the day when I was I think I was by Stinson Beach or something. And then I looked over, I'm like, oh my gosh, somebody's actually, you know, sunbathing. And then you realize that there's sunbathing on top of a parking lot. Right. And I'm like, that's not sunbathing, right? I mean, in SoCal, everybody's just you know, in a quad or just by the beach, right? That's a very typical thing. Right. And up here in the Bay Area, I was like, wait, the finally sun came out and you see people sunbathing on top of a parking lot. That was just sad. I was, I just, I was crying inside especially when I, I grew up in socal right so yeah summer summers in uh six flag were a lot of fun 100 percent. 100 percent. i like it how you're just so pc about that i'm just i i don't know listen i don't know if my wife's gonna listen to this podcast i don't Man. he's like well, i know you're i just you do you have I'm a high confidence or low confidence? I have no idea. You just, <laughs> look, look, here's 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 the truth. Here's the truth. Yeah, I've I've uh, both my wife and I agree that um, she's a smarter one, 
in this relationship. Mm -hmm. So she will figure out a way. That's for damn sure. Uh, okay, so it's all about the evidence. Damn that Skippy. You, you do not want to leave behind. Scrub, scrub all this. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, <geez. laughs> Just clear cash <laughs> on, on the scrub browser. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll tell you this one mm -hmm. i don't think we should start censoring ourselves i think that's a bad pattern two remember i can edit <laughs> and if it's really really bad you guys can pay me and then i'll edit it out uh, it all works so oh, wait I, a damn second <laughs> I, i'll tell you in general this is how i actually saw the whole, like down there and up here it was like two different it is like two different worlds and it, i don't even know where it's multiple actually different worlds because even in central california is like a little different too oh yeah um yeah but man like southern and northern california is uh different very very different um i th i it always felt that the amount that people would spend on how they present themselves is way more in southern california and then people up here spend way more time trying to uh, I want to say trying to, but like they spend way more on like their intellectual side in in the beginning of their lives, and this is how I this is how I know too because I have plenty of friends that have married, divorced, you know, have kids, they're in college already, and then up here, then they're all from Southern California, and then from up here, they're like barely having kids. <laughs> And this, they're all the same age, <laughs> you know. So it's just I like think there, there's a pattern there, Freddie. Right? It's hotter. People wear less clothing. <laughs> they have more kids. <laughs> and oh, I think I, I have to agree with Henry there. The Correlation. way he put it, <laughs> the way he put it, I think paints a really good picture uh, between the differences right between SoCal and NorCal. If you see a girl sunbathing on the beach, you're like, oh, you're hot. But if you see a girl sunbathing in a parking lot, you're like, you're homeless. <laughs> That's a thing up here. No, I, I, well, actually, I, I still remember this, okay? I mean, I still remember when I was in college, I came up to Berkeley for some, I don't remember what event it was. And I was walking through Berkeley, or is it Stanford? I don't remember. It's one of the two schools. And I just see people sunbathing on the, on a quad. And I remember one of my 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 friends. He's like, "Hey, man, she's she's cute." So they ran over. They started talking to her. Said, and then they came back. You're like, "Hey, yeah, man, she's also from SoCal." So you realize that they they they're desperate for sun. I guess you know that's why they're willing to strip down anywhere and just kind of like, "Hey, I need sun." You We're know, just so looking for vitamin D. That's all. Yeah, of course. So what? <laughs> I I just realized. I just realized. That I'm the only one from Southern California. <laughs> what? The... No, no Henry is. Henry, Henry is. Henry grew up there. Yeah. No, I know, but he's not here anymore. Not anymore. I'm where? where oh. what, what city are you in right now? Uh, L.A. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah hey, no, mad, mad respect for SoCal. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Yeah, now. <laughs> now you, they just realize that you're from no, SoCal. Like, oh, no, shit. No, like, no, talk yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. no more shit talking. That's Sorry, bro. Just, <laughs> I, skipped, yeah, yeah. I skipped your city. I got to go all the way down to San Diego. It's either San Diego or, you know, the Bay Area. It's like, right? yeah. only because the it's weird. It's, San Diego is almost just like the Bay Area. A little more, you know, leaning Republican, whatever. Um, but it, and it's hotter, much hotter, but it's all like... All the other climate of like, you know, the fog rolling in in the morning, burning off in the daytime, and then having sun in the day. Like, it's all the same. It's like the same as it is up here. So I was like, good. I'm good. Moving back up wasn't as bad. Yeah. But they're both like, LA is tough. Uh, good luck everywhere. I don't know. Is it still that uh, way? It, yeah. But even with even the pandemic? With COVID, that's what I was going to say. Um, no, with the pandemic, it's gotten a little better. Um, but it's. There's still a lot of people on the road. It's like that here now. I mean, the people are out and about. The um, you know, over in South Shore, Freddie, uh, we we're getting boba today. Again. Um, <laughs> Man, you have to wait in line. Intake. Hey, did you have to wait in line? Ha, fifty percent sugar. Okay, 
Buy one, get one free, sugar. by the way. Oh, for guys, I, buy I one, get one free time. Is that what it is? <laughs> He's like, 50% off. I had to go. <laughs> buy one, get one. I gotta go. Yeah, Yi Fang makes great boba. <laughs> Please They're located in uh, right yeah, South Shore in Alameda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> buy one, get one free. Um, but yeah, they had the uh, the food trucks all over uh, the shopping center there. I'm surprised and that so... that isn't more... Like, I, I'm surprised food trucks haven't had even more increase of popularity. Because, you know, we already saw that popularity with just the, the industry growing, with the food kind of going that way. But like yeah. now that you can't go inside, I, I'm surprised you don't see more events posted for like, come to the parking lot and then just post the trucks further apart. But um, I'm, I'm surprised we don't see more of that. Is it they, because of the whole, because you can't gather a lot of people? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, I think the there were a lot of people. They were standing uh, six feet apart in line, right, to order. But after the order, I see groups and clusters of people just hanging out together in the parking lot and, and eating. Um, so to me, I'm like, well, I think... Here's, here, here's where we need to get, right, get to, is that if you actually want to continue that, that actually makes more sense. Food trucks, you're outside, there's more space, but I think you have to go all the way and then uh, plan the whole thing about, okay, mm -hmm. people generally like to eat right after they order. How do you have groups of people eat safely together, right, within a parking lot? Like, those things need to be fleshed out more because that's going to be with us for a while. Or I'm going to ask this question. Is food truck still a thing? Yeah. yeah. Really? Why would, what? No, Why wouldn't it be? No, because I just, I mean, personally, I just find food trucks, I mean, I think they're great, but I just feel like they're overpriced. They're always overpriced. It's not like the, the, the good what? old Roach Coach where it is like cheap tacos. <laughs> cheap. No, I'm serious. I mean, but I if you, if you talk about good old Roach Coach, you're also talking about Roach Coach food, not, not like... <laughs> A Chairman Bao, you know, yes, I agree. Chairman Bao is probably a little expensive too. But, but we also don't have someone in their household that makes beautiful looking things by Celine Bites. <laughs> yeah, I think this current generation, Henry, I don't, I don't even think they would know the term Roach Coach. Do you? Who is, they just are you all the same truck. generation? What are you Ooh, no, no, not who, us. Who are you not pointing at? Us. We're, we're, pointing? We're, I'm talking about my kids, right? Oh, I thought you were asking to. Uh, I thought you were asking our listener. On, on oh, YouTube. our listeners. Yeah, our listeners are all middle aged. Please people. comment below. They know Roach Coach. Do you know what Roach, know Roach Coach is? Please comment below. comment below. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, I've never. I've, I, don't, uh, I don't want to say that one. Hey, Ken, you, you remember? You remember? Don't you were make asking me say that, that in the outro. You, were, you, you remember you were asking for exactly. Remember you were asking for the outro. That's exactly it, right there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go run off and read some comments now, guys. <laughs> it's been great. <laughs> They're piling in. Look at that. <laughs> I have to add the noises when uh, comments come in. You guys yeah, we, you. Them we number get live comments. Number count. Yes. On the side. Yes. Oh, hey, we got our first subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you dim to black. Yeah. Uh, and out.